And we are recording. Go ahead and start Ooh. us off, Craig. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to lettuce. Two Guys. I'm talking about lettuce. Um, talking about lettuce. lettuce. What's, what's happening? Here, My name Greg? is Craig Benson. And you seem a little, lettuce. you seem a little more wacky than usual, Greg. What's and this going is on? Craig lettuce. Benzine. Mm-hmm. Good morning, lettuce. Craig. Yeah. Uh, nice to see good you. Good morning. Today. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah. You have a you have, yeah, it's nice to see you. Yeah. Uh, you you asked me to start us off and then you started us off. Great, start us then off. Then you paused and then you no, you already said that and you already did start us off. <laughs> yeah. All right, Greg. All yeah. right, man. You have a you have a bandage on your face. Is that uh affecting your brain at all? I don't know or, about uh, I don't know anything about that. I can't okay. help you with that. Now, would you like I to see what's I under my I don't need my, any help. Would you I, like to see what's under the bandage on my face? Would you like to see? Mm. I will warn you, it's shocking. Mm, yes, I would like to All see. right, here we go. I'm, I'm telling you, though, it is. this is shocking. Hang on. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Yep. Oh, my God. It, it's not very shocking. It, it's, in fact, nothing. Nothing. No, no, I there. mean, that, that's what's shocking about it. It's shocking that I would have a bandage on my face covering nothing. That's true. I said, that's a little shocking. You yeah. used to have a burn there. Aren't you uh, shocked? Yeah, what happened to the burn? It cleared up very quickly. I mean, it, I burned myself a week wow. ago today, and I've been covering it and putting on Aquaphor, mm-hmm. and that stuff works like magic, and now the burn is gone. Are you shocked? I am. I'm a little shocked. I told I'm you it's shocking. Yeah. I not told that, you. Not, I mean, you're extraordinarily shocking. You've never, is a you've never been word. so shocked in your life. Um, yeah. Okay. You know that song, Shock the Monkey? It's about this, and you're the monkey. Okay. Did did the did the intro song play yet for the, for this? Yeah. Episode? Yeah. Did you hear it? Oh yeah. We did the no. whole intro and then the intro song played. Oh, oh there oh. it goes again. It's playing again, and then oh. it stopped. Okay. See, so okay. you get just a little bit of it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's there weird. it is again. Oh, that's and weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Wow. Yeah. That's just huh. extra editing for me to do later. Yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. extra uh, editing. Listen, Greg. You yes, always accuse me of of not preparing. Um, so yeah, because I, you I don't wrote. prepare for this. No, I do. I but I but I well I wrote something for you. Oh, I'm so uh, excited. I love mm-hmm. when you write stuff. Great. Let's sure. hear it. Hi Greg. I just want to let you know that I scripted this part because you always accuse me of not preparing. So I prepared a lot. Here are the things I prepared. A script. 1. 2. I brushed my teeth. 3. I put on clothes on the top at least. <laughs> 4. I built up a career on YouTube, without which you would never know who I am. Five, I looked up some lettuce news. And six, I pooped. This concludes my preparation for the day. Thank you for your time. Goodbye. Wow. Craig, Mm -hmm. I have to say, and I'm being completely honest with you right now, you Mm -hmm. are an excellent writer. I mean, that's just good writing. Thank you. I've, Thank I've read you. a lot of books. Have you ever read a book? It's a, it's got pages, yeah. got a bunch of words in it yeah. on pages. Everyone knows. Everyone knows what a book it's a, is. It's a book. It's got. It's usually bound. It's bound like yeah, the yeah. pages are bound together so that it's one entity. It's you not say just usually. a bunch of not just a bunch uh, of loose pages. Is it sometimes not bound? Well, usually when writers first write things, if they use a typewriter, it's going to be on loose pages, and then yeah, they but is ca- it a book they, yet? Then then they carry them. They, they walk through Central Park to their. Yeah agent's office and they're, they're ready to deliver and they've got all okay. these loose leaf papers and then so this is in new york then they have to be in new york for yeah, this? the writers that all, all writers live in new york and then okay. they, they're walking through central park and then the wind kicks up it gets really windy and all yeah. the loose leaf papers just go everywhere and they go oh mama mia i lose oh. my loose leaf papers oh please help me my loose leaf papers will go everywhere and then everyone like okay. go don't don't worry sweet little italian man i'll help okay. you pick up your loose leaf papers right. oh yes please uh. you help me pick up a loose leaf of papers and then they pick up his loose leaf papers and they put them back in order because luckily he's numbered the pages which is wise Mm -hmm. and then he goes Mm -hmm. oh thank you you come over to my place tonight i'm gonna make you some spaghetti and some lasagna Mm -hmm. and some cannelloni wow wow he's doing does a lot of cooking but also writing that's uh yeah yeah. all all writers are excellent cooks and i mean they're from italy so of course of course they know how to make so, like so a good all writers pasta. are from italy all oh. writers are italian and they live in in new york city what what's what, well, what part of this is unclear to you uh, it's very no, clear no, no. all writers I mean, are italian clear. and they live in it, new york city and they're loose leaf, you're saying their yeah. loose leaf papers fly away when they walk through central park to go to their agent's office which is uh-huh. all the way on the other side of central park by the way there's okay you could oh, go man. around the park 
But then yeah. that's just a much longer walk. They could get an apartment on the other side. Or let me ask you something. Do you remember yeah. the part where all their papers blew away in the wind in the park? And then the, and then the Italian writer chef says, Oh, my loose leaf of papers. Oh, please yeah, help yeah. me. My loose leaf of papers. That's yeah, my favorite yeah. part of the story. Okay. I, you just wanted to do that again. Yeah, uh, I did. And yeah, I might yeah, do it a third yeah. time later in the episode when wait, you least you know expect it. Wait, I, was the part you're talking about the part where he goes, Oh, my loose leaf of papers. <laughs> See, oh, isn't, my isn't, loose leaf isn't, papers. isn't that fun yeah. to do? Isn't it mama fun? Mia. Oh, mamma mia, please help me get my loose leaf of papers. <laughs> so is it Mario? Are we talking about Mario? No, 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 uh, no, 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 okay. no, no. His name's not Mario. Okay. St- Steve. It's a me, a writer. Oh. Yeah, Steve. Mm-hmm. Steve. Yeah, that particular oh, writer's name is Steve. Really? Yeah, he, which yeah, is a... I would have thought... It's a it traditional, was, more of an Italian. No, name. that is a traditional Italian name, Steve. Okay, all right, yeah. Steve. Yeah, Craig, that's not true. But the whole premise of it was you were trying to say that that's that was a book that wasn't bound, but yeah, that was more of a manuscript. That wasn't a book yet. Oh well, I listen. You call it a manuscript. Yeah. I call it a book. I think it, it, when someone's written a book, it's a book. All right. All right. Yeah. All it's right. like oh, here, here's my book. So books can be unbound. I suppose. Well, when they're first written, and then after, and but they don't sell them right. in the store that way. Although I will say this: mm. if you go into pretty much any school supply store, you should be able to buy a bag or a box full of loose leaf papers. It's just loose leaf papers. It's, I believe uh, it's pronounced loose leaf papers. I think you've been talking too much to Italians. Well, I, I mean, that's, well, that's uh, how, well, that's how it's pronounced in the original Italian. Like lo- loose leaf okay. papers are originally Italian. Okay, that's where they were right. invented. But that would not. That also wouldn't be a book. That's just a bunch of paper. Yeah, but I mean, I, like yeah. that's an argument. That's it for another day. It's like it's like is a blank VHS tape a movie or isn't it? You know, what I mean, like that's it's just not. an argument. No. That's an argument for someone else. No, not no, for us. we could argue it right now. Why? Why can't we talk about it right now? Because every once in a while, like when I, I used to work at Blockbuster Video, which is a lie. And when people mm-hmm. would okay. come in, I'd say, hi, wow. welcome to Blockbuster Video. My name is Gary. Can mm-hmm. I help you? And they'd say, yeah. why does your name tag say Stephen? And I said, because I borrowed Stephen's name tag, but my name is Gary. You can trust me. Anyway. Wait, so Stephen, they would, the Italian writer? Yeah, exactly. Or, uh, so uh, so they would, that's, okay. a different, that's a different Stephen. That's Steve you're thinking uh, of. Stephen's oh, yeah, a different yeah. guy. <clears throat> All right. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, so they say uh, I say, can I help you? And they go, yeah, I want to watch that movie. Do you have that movie, uh, Blank Tape? And I'm like, oh, you mean you mean the one by Maxell? And they're like, no, 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 by TDK. And I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, we've got that. Okay. And I show right. them I show them where we keep the blank tape rentals, uh-huh. and they would yeah, rent yeah. it. Oh, they rent it. You know what would drive me crazy is when they would what? only watch yeah. like half of it, and then they wouldn't rewind okay. it. You know? All right. So, and I and I and I want right. and I would point to the sign on the wall that said, "Don't be an asshole. Rewind." Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's all of this is said. a lie, though you established. Right? I'm I, all of this is completely yeah. untrue, but this actually happened to me. Okay, okay, yeah. All right, just so, to clarify uh, yeah, to yeah. everybody to make sure that it's clear. So it is. It seems pretty clear that yeah. the blank tape is not a movie. Well, it's but not. but they would rent it and watch it as if it were a movie. And frankly, yeah, I yeah. Mean, but what, what, what's really what's really happen, to say what but, is a movie and what's not a movie? Uh. I mean, I, there is a little gray area for sure. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and we uh, when you watch a blank tape, there's a lot of gray area. A lot of, it's yeah, a lot yeah. of snowy a lot of, gray area. I would area. say like snow or uh, maybe just black area. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. of gray area there. Um, but here's okay. the deal. Here's the deal. Think about this. I'm just gonna pose this question uh-huh. to you. Yeah. What would you rent videos on at Blockbuster Video back in the '90s? What format would they come on? A VHS tape. That's correct. VHS, a VHS yeah, yeah. tape. And yeah, yeah. what are blank tapes? What format are they? A VHS tape. Or, so, be- or beta. Yeah. Or no, beta. no, no. This is the 90s when beta's already okay. gone. Beta's okay. gone. Okay. Beta was, right, they tried right. that in the 80s. Didn't work out. Sure. Because obviously it was a better format. So it lost. Just like, H- sure. just like HD DVD lost to Blu-ray. It was a I better saw a format. YouTube video recently that was saying beta wasn't actually. It was probably not a better format. That's just. Uh, it was. It had. It had. Okay. It had more. It had better resolution. So. Sure. Sure. So okay. Yeah. No. Don't right. argue with me. This is. This okay. is. This oh is my, my podcast. You're my guest here. Please don't come on my my show oh and my argue God. with me. I'm just bringing up anecdotes. Okay. Greg. I'm just. Okay. Uh, you know what? I could. I can do without the attitude right now. Okay. Oh, wow. Wow. You're very sensitive. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you have one, a plan more, for one more what word you out of you, say, young yeah. man, and you're going to go to your room for the rest of the night. Do you understand okay. me? Do I'm I make myself your, clear? 
I don't even live in the same house as you. <laughs> I know, but uh, but you have a room yeah. there, don't you? Do you, do you have a room? Yes yeah. or no? Is yeah, there a I blank VHS my tape? My wife. In, yes. Yeah. Is there a blank VHS tape in that room? Yes or no? That's my point. Uh, okay. Uh, Moving no, on. No, there's not. No. Craig, go ahead and ta- share with the lettuce news that you've got for us. I'm very excited to hear it. Greg, uh, apparently, eating salad uh, in outer space could increase the likelihood of killing astronauts. Well, then I will stop mailing astronauts salad. I mean, frankly, Uh, I don't think that it even reaches them because I don't have the exact address as to where they are. Yeah, yeah. And I don't, and I just say, you know, two astronauts, outer space, the yeah. world is what I what I write there. Yeah, yeah. Or the universe, basically. And sure. then and I put the salad in a little envelope. I just pour it in an envelope, mm-hmm. tape it okay. shut, put extra postage on it, because I don't know how much you it put costs. dressing on it on it? Or? Absolutely of course I'm like a send them dry yeah, yeah. salad. What am I a jerk? What, okay, what do yeah. I what do I want them to open it up and be like, Oh, this salad's dry. Mm. Yeah, right, right. If I'm gonna risk my life eating this salad, it better have some dressing on it. Hmm. So is that like Mr. Magoo, the astronaut, or who's yeah. that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Greg. Yeah. Why now? Why now? Uh, why? Why would is that? Would that risk their lives to eat salad? Yeah, there was in a space? study done, and apparently they tried to recreate the conditions of out, of zero gravity, and yeah. it was more likely the the por- the the cells or the pores of lettuce would would open up and just take more likely take in E. coli and other bacteria pathogens. Oh my god! Um, in zero gravity, I feel terrible so, now for for mailing all those salads to astronauts. Yeah, I I think no matter who got that salad, it would have also been dangerous. No matter where they got it, the salad that you mailed. Yeah, I I mean I guess, but I mean I did mm-hmm. I did seal the envelope, so sure. I mean it wasn't it uh, wasn't like it was an unsealed envelope where anything could just crawl into it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, I think I think anything still could. You know, through the, the pores of the on- envelope or is it envelope or envelope? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. You know, it just depends on how hoity toity you are. Do you consider yourself a hoity toity person? Not are, really. Are no. you, do you consider yourself part of the hoy polloi? Uh, I don't know what that means, but, um, no. Well, at least now we have a title for this episode. This is the hoity toity hoy polloi episode. Is Which is great polloi? because anybody searching for either hoity toity or hoy polloi are mm-hmm. going to find this episode. It's going to be like the first thing that pops up, and they're going to be like, oh, this episode's perfect for me. What is hoy polloi? I don't even know what that is. Well, you better look it ah, up. That's, that's the opposite of hoity toity. Well, what is, what is hoy polloi? The masses, the common people. Yeah, but, but I'm talking about the hoity toity hoy polloi. Okay. Um, that's, I feel like that's, uh, that's what you call an oxymoron. Yeah. You're an oxymoron. Okay. I, I don't feel like I, I feel like I'm pretty consistent. You, you look like um, one. You look like an oxymoron. What is that? What does an oxymoron look like? I don't know. Just like a dumb person who has a lot of acne. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Wow. I Oxy. guess. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. that's all I could think of. Listen, you put me yeah. on the spot. Listen, my answers don't all have to make sense. Uh, none do, actually. But um, did you see the new Ghostbusters? When the you say the new Ghostbusters, do you mean newest, did, did one just come out like just just now? The newest. The newest one. Well, I mean, I know that there is a newest one, but I think it's still mm-hmm. being shot, Right. So mm-hmm. I haven't seen well, that. That yet. one's not the newest one that's out. No, 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 no. I no, saw one that one. I saw Ghostbusters Afterlife, the one that came out yeah. that has like the ghost of Harold Ramis in it. That one. That yeah. one. Did you see it? I did. I liked it. Did you like oh, actually, it? Actually, no. I'm I'm only actually I'm only like halfway through it, and I'm oh. enjoying it. I'm oh, enjoying so, it. Oh, so I ruined the fact that it has the ghost of Harold Ramis in it. No, I saw I saw a bit where he like moves around some stuff as a ghost. Yeah. You know, I think it's pretty cool I, that they got Harold Ramis to come back because usually after people yeah, die, they yeah. do not accept movie offers. But Harold Ramis is just like, you know what? I'm a professional, mm-hmm. and being mm-hmm. dead is not going to stop me from being in this movie. Okay. And I actually I thought it was I, lovely and touching. Well, I I'm enjoying it. I'm actually I'm I'm liking it more than I thought. But I don't think Harold Ramis actually came back to be in the movie. I think they probably he's used. right there in the movie. I mean, you can't dispute yeah. that he's there. You know that you know that there are. 
there are, there is images. You know, people can take images of people and yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Make, they they put actors yeah. in front of the camera and then they roll uh-huh. the camera and they get an image. Absolutely, that's how that's and how there are other Ray ways got you, in the movie. You take you could take previous images of that actor and reuse them. What? In, what? Yeah, yeah. yeah what yeah, are we? Yeah. What are we living in the nineteenth century? That's crazy. What is this? The what? future? No, no. What what century? What century do you think we're in? Isn't this uh, the, what? This is the seventeenth century, right? What are, where are we? No, I don't, I'm no, not really no. sure how centuries work. I know that it's not mm-hmm. like it's not it's not what you think. Like if if we're like if it's like this if it's the year seventeen fifty, you get like, oh we're in the seventeenth century. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. You're in the eighteenth mm-hmm. century, idiot. Yeah, uh, and and that, listen, that, I, I'm not calling you an idiot. I'm calling that yeah. guy who's in the year seventeen fifty who thinks he's in the wrong century an idiot. That guy's mm-hmm. an idiot. Okay. Also, uh, also, idiot. You've got cholera. So wow. So wow. I just so, saying. That does, I mean, geez. Yeah. Wait, wait, because they think they're in the wrong century, they got cholera. No, no. He just coincidentally no. he has cholera. That guy has cholera, okay. and he's not. Okay. He's not going to be with us much longer. Okay. He's you suffering know, from pa- cholera and whooping cough. If someone offered me cholera, I'd probably uh, I'd pass. On yeah. That. Yeah. I've got a uh, I've got like a 1970s jacket with with really large colors. Wait, what century are you in? I don't really. Know. I'm. I've lost track. Okay. I don't really know. Okay. All right. Why do people pass in the right lane, which is the parking lane? That happened twice in the past couple of days. Why are people passing traffic impatiently in the parking lane? Is that happening where you live? Where is it? Where is this coming from? I was driving home today from dropping my son off at school. Yeah. And this yeah. this jerk, this mm-hmm. jerk's weaving all around and then passes everybody in the parking lane. Just okay. like zooms past everybody in the parking lane. And you know, and let me just tell you something. I'm not a violent okay. person. But it did make me want to catch up with him, pull him out of his car, and then just smash his face against his car a bunch of times until it just sort of becomes all sort of flat and yeah. smooth. You know, because yeah. I wanted the guy to have a nice, flat, smooth face. Okay. And in order to I mean, get that smoothness, you have to break a lot of the bones, like the eyebrows and yeah. the nose. So it wasn't that the... you wanted to hurt him. You just had a desire for him to have a smooth I just want him to have a nice, smooth, bloody face. That's all. That's all. But okay. that, that is what I wanted to do to that guy. Just bang, 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 bang. His face against, violent, against his own car. Like against, like pull him out and then yeah. against like either the roof, like the edge of the roof yeah. or the hood of his car might be easier just to hang, bang, 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 bang. And then, yeah, yeah. and then like let him go and go like, okay, please don't, please mm-hmm. don't pass people in the, in the parking lane anymore. That's not very that nice. Sounds- and then, sounds and then I'd be violent, like, and then, right? and then, but that'll uh, be nice. And I'd be like, hope you have a nice day. You know, that's not going to make up for it. That won't, that won't, um, no. undo oh, how, the, how about if I just violence. go like, I'm sorry for the violence. I apologize. I apologize for being violent. I'm mm, sorry. The fact, I mean, the fact that you're planning it this way, it yeah. also does it, it does, the apology is not going to do anything. Right. That's not well. No, but I, if I've planned the apology, then I know that I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna make it right in the end because I'm all about. You know making that it you're right. gonna feel bad afterwards. I know. I didn't say I'd feel it. bad. Oh, I, you know, oh you're not gonna. It's an empty apology because because okay. between you and me, I'm not really sorry. But I just oh. want to I want to make him feel better. Okay. So I'm sorry. So, I'm sorry about so your if face. If you don't actually feel bad, then it's not. So your face is a, all flat. And yeah, yeah. all of your bones in your nose it are broken. Sounds more like like you're just you're just rubbing it in. Let you me know, ask you something. Like, it, do yeah. you do you think that's fair that like if a guy passes people in the parking lane and then I smash their face until it's all flat? Do you think do, do you think that's a fair exchange? The punishment. It the seems, punishment fits yeah. the crime. Do you think so? Because I think um, it seems fair to me. No, no. What? I, I think no, no. What part I of that? What, what part of them should doing, I smash flat? No, no. You what you're doing is worse. Any 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 what? violence afterwards is okay. probably is worse what about yeah. if i just pull both of their arms off and i slap them repeatedly in their face not hit them but just slap mm. them repeatedly in the face with both of their arms yeah but then they, slap, then slap, slap, they slap, don't slap, have slap, slap, slap. but then they don't have arms i, I think give they'll, they'll, them they'll, their arms back when i'm done slapping them you can't really reattach the arms it I think, doesn't uh, matter i get i hand yeah. them back to them i say here take your arms uh-huh. And then they grab their arms, and then they walk yeah. off holding their arms. No, how how are they going to grab their arms? With they, their feet? I, they use their own arms. I give them back to them, and they're oh, using okay. them. You're not paying attention, Craig. I'm making perfect I, sense. You're not I, paying attention to logic. Craig. I feel like you're making a mockery of this whole podcast. Speak- I I think that would be impossible. Speaking of this podcast, this very popular yeah. podcast, by the way, I, I haven't checked the ratings recently, but I'm assuming we're either number two or number one by now. 
uh, in oh, all in uh, all of podcast. I'm probably number one, I'm, but but okay. at the very least, we're number two. Anyway, all right. Our latest review, we got a we got a review from We Are Let Us via Apple Podcasts, who give this podcast five stars out of a wow. hundred, and they oh. rate they rate it five stars, and the title stars. Five stars. That's a lot That's of stars. It's a weird star system. I know, it's strange, but I, I, the, you know, there's yeah. a lot of stars in the galaxy. Anyway, All right. uh, yeah, yeah. the review is called Lettuce Farm, and here's what they say. And this is a quote. We are human beings. Thank you so much for clarifying. We are lettuce. Mm-hmm. We are human beings, and we find this podcast to be very lettuce In fact, it is so lettuce that we started a new playthrough of Stardew Valley centered entirely on your lives in this podcast. Our characters oh. are Greg and Craig. <laughs> we wear all green. We live on a lettuce farm, and all of our animals are named after different types of lettuce. Our horses' names are Kim and China, and our children's names are Ada and Charlie. We are open wow. to suggestions on how to make our playthrough even more emblematic of your lives. Okay. All right. Well, if you want to, oh. if you want to make it more emblematic of my life, make sure to have sex four to seven times a day. Okay. Okay. Uh, That's one thing. That's one thing you can do. Right. Okay. Lots and lots I mean of sex. That. We heard we heard that, that sex is really good for you, and it prevents yeah, you yeah. from getting prostate cancer. And I don't. I mean, want... it's probably it's well. Maybe a little bit, but it's probably the exercise that's good for you. Yeah, that you eat good exercise, yeah. and and it, pre- it prevents me and my wife from getting prostate. I don't want for her to get prostate cancer. So okay. yeah, so right. it prevents it. So we have a lot of the sex. That and, seems like too much. Actually. And the other it thing might, is, it might be harmful. Actually, and the other if you thing eat is that much. You eat a lot of potatoes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So that's the other um, thing. How about you? What 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 can they do to make to make you know your character more uh, emblematic? barely leave the house barely Bare- leave the house okay sure uh take naps okay okay and um go to the mines and look for ore have you ever played stardew valley no i haven't you, don't never, know, you have no I, idea what it is i've never dude. even heard of it i'm assuming it's some sort of yeah. game i i got a little addicted at early pandemic yeah to stardew valley and it's great it's a great game you know what's you, funny is that you said what? I got a little addicted, but I could edit yeah. this to make it to make it just sound like you say I got a little dick. I you, could you edit could. I could edit your line there. You could you could probably using computer trickery make me say anything you wanted. You could do that at any time. Hey Craig, how yeah. big is your dick? I've got a little addicted. Okay, I just edited oh, it. My God. Yeah. Oh my god. I just you got edited a lot of it. editing to do. Yeah, I know it's going to be a lot of editing in it. So speaking of editing, yeah. now it's time for the yeah. Patreon only bonus section which starts right now. This portion of two guys talking about lettuce has been edited out for your listening inconvenience. If you wish to hear the complete unedited version with the bonus talking be sure to visit patreon.com slash two guys talking about lettuce. And now, back to the edited, not as good version of the podcast. And that's the what? end of the Patreon only bonus section. It was really good, you guys. That was for, good. I actually forgot we were in the Patreon only bonus. It's segment, because we were so. so on and so hilarious that you forgot mm-hmm. that we were just doing that just for Patreon. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And now, now the pressure's on for us to try to make this section as good as the last section was. Uh, and let me tell you something. I don't think it's possible. Well, when you bring when you say things like that, of course it's not. Now it's just going to no. be a letdown. Yeah, yeah. You don't don't draw attention to the quality of what we're doing, Greg, and then people don't notice. I mean, I think one of the biggest problems about this section is we spend about a minute and a half just making sheep noises, and and that's frankly yeah. nobody wants to listen to that. No, no. Yeah, when does that happen? Uh oh, it's happening now. Oh no. Meh. Oh no. Meh. Not now. Meh. 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 It's hard to do while you're laughing. I 
hope China can hear this. God, we've only gone 30 seconds. We have to do another minute of this. <laughs> All right. We're not going to do the whole 90 seconds. Oh, okay. Okay. You guys get the All idea. Right. You guys, if you want right. to hear it for 90 seconds, just, just rewind it three remember, times. Remember Goat Boy? Remember? Goat Boy. Tell me about Goat Boy. Saturday Night Live. Uh, Jim Brewer. I don't I remember. I, I really didn't watch a whole lot of Saturday Night Live because every time I would watch it, I'd be like, God damn it, why aren't the sketches funny? This is a sketch yep. comedy show. Where's mm-hmm. the comedy? I see the sketches. Yep. Where's the goddamn comedy? That's right. I feel that way often. I mean, and, it's yeah. it's hit or miss because they, they have to make it in a week every time. I You know what? I don't think that's an excuse. From, from the way that I've heard that that show runs... Yeah, I don't know. I mean, look, I, I'm not on the show, so I don't know. But mm-hmm. it sure seems to me like, then you know, if if they if they put things off and then they have to do overnight writing sessions, and for fuck's sake, just treat it like a job. Just go in, write the sketches, and make sure you write. Fun- yeah. Here's the deal. Here's well, how you write I funny. Understand sketches. You it, make they sure have, you write they work funny hard sketches. all the time. Yeah, they, yeah, yeah, they, yeah. But but maybe they don't. Maybe they're not writing f- funny sketches. Maybe that's the problem. Oh, oh. Do you guys maybe want to try funny sketches? Maybe it's hard to please everybody, week? Greg. Maybe it's hard to please everybody. Oh, I, I, don't know. I don't know. Maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sometimes, sometimes a really funny one comes out, though. Sometimes. Yes, every every once in a while there are brilliant sketches. There are still some things that I love. I think one of the funniest things I ever saw on Saturday Night Live was Unfrozen Caveman Lawyer. I have a yeah. I have a great fondness in my yeah. heart for Unfrozen Caveman Lawyer. Yeah, that, that is that, my kind of sketch, and, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. I'm just a caveman. <laughs> I don't yeah. understand all this fancy legal jargon. <laughs> uh, what I do know is my client is innocent. It's just it's that's yeah. just a great sketch. It is a good one. And then well, you've Phil and, Hartman. And yeah. then and then something comes along like uh like Tom Hanks in the, the Halloween sketch. Uh what's uh uh what was I'm it? I'm David jo- Pumpkins, man. Yeah. Yes, David S. Yeah. Pumpkins. I mean, that's a, that's Pumpkins, another yeah. great sketch. Sure it's is. so great that they that they spun it off into an animated show. Did you see the half hour animated <laughs> yeah. special? I didn't. I never watched it. No, I did. It was not great, but yeah. just the fact that it existed made me so yeah. happy. Well, good. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm so, glad. I'm so happy that that exists. I'm happy. I'm happy you exist, Greg. Oh, now that's honestly that's one of the nicest things anyone's ever said to me. Yeah. Thank Is you, it? Craig. That seems like a low bar. No, no. It? You're happy no. that I exist? That, yeah. that What that does is that validates my life, and I appreciate oh. that. Oh, are you happy that I exist? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. It doesn't no, no, sound no, like it, Greg. No, yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. No, no, yeah. Greg, why, what's happening to your voice? Uh, why just, is it... No, 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 no. Why are you re- why are you recoiling no, into just, yourself? Just what's really, what's going I'm on? Very happy you said. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like of, you're saying of, things so that. <laughs> of course I am, Craig. Of course I am. Right. And you know, you mentioned something earlier in this podcast. And I'm like, that's a damn good point. You said that you built up a career on YouTube, without which. Uh, I would not know you, and that's so true. So thank that's you. That's how I prepared for this episode. Thank you for yeah. creating a career on YouTube so that I could meet you and get to know you. And because you know mm-hmm. what, you know, I've always said to know, know, know you is to love, love, love you, and I do. Okay. Okay. Uh, what wh- wh- what song is that? Oh, it's called "To Know You Is to Love You." You don't know that song? I don't know if I know that song. I don't know. Well, I'm not going to sing it. Okay. Fine. Fine. Now it's awkward. Why did it get awkward all of a sudden? I don't know. I mean, I, you probably want me to sing it. If you ask nicely, I'd sing it, but I'm not going to. If you're not, if I you think don't you ask really, nicely. I think you really do want to sing it. I mean, I'm, I, I might. Whether I want to sing it or not is irrelevant. Is is an uh-huh. elephant. But okay. I, if you ask me very nicely, I might sing it or I might not. I might still refuse. You know what? Yeah. I'm not gonna ask you. I'm gonna let you decide if you you should sing it because I don't want you to refuse. So you know what? Don't be afraid. Like, I, let me just tell you, between you and me, I said mm-hmm. that I might refuse. I'm not gonna refuse if you ask me. Well, see, now you definitely <laughs> are gonna refuse. No, no I'm not. So, you think you know uh, me? You think yeah. you think you know and understand well, me? Well, here's here's the th- here's yeah. the situation right now, Greg. Yeah. Right at this moment, <laughs> yes. you don't know if you're gonna refuse or not. <laughs> you're gonna. 
you're going to decide what's funnier when I ask. That's what you're going to do. <laughs> this is a podcast right here. We're doing yeah. a podcast. Oh, God, this is good stuff. Man, yep. no, nobody else is doing shit like this. Just you and me. That Yeah, there's probably a reason for that. But no, Nobody else uh, is doing quality content like this. That's right. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> Greg, will you sing the song? No. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. To know, know, know you is to lurf, lurf, lurf you. And I do, and I do, and I do, and I do, and I do. Yeah. Famous Bob you, Seger song. And I do. Sound, you sound like, who do you sound like? Uh, Bob, Bob Seger. Okay. Or Darius Rucker. That could have been a Darius oh. Rucker sort of thing. Okay. Darius Rucker, oh. the funniest celebrity name I can think of. I cannot think of a funnier celebrity name than but Darius not, Rucker. But the man isn't funny at all. No, there's like nothing funny about Darius Rucker. If you, ever, the, if you ever spend an evening hanging out with Darius Rucker, you'll, you'll yeah. spend that whole evening going like, when's he going to start getting funny? Yeah, exactly. You know? Uh, I mean, I, to be honest, I haven't hung out with Darius Rucker, so I can't Oh, my really God. Say, all, he, but... all he talks about is his grandma passing away. I mean, oh. to be honest with you, the last yeah. time I hung out with him, his grandma yeah. had just passed away, and they were very close. I didn't know you were friends with Darius Rucker. Well, we're not anymore. Not since he just what? brought brought me down all night talking about his dead grandma. I mean, that's not. A, that seems like. I know it's how, rude. Wait, how long ago was, did his grandma die? At that point, I mean, that was uh, I don't know, twelve, thirteen years ago. Listen, I don't, I don't, I don't have oh, all the details. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, all I'm saying is, you hang out with Darius Rucker after his grandma dies. That's all that man can talk about. The only thing funny about him is that he. Uh, he was the lead of a band called Hootie and the Blowfish. So that means he, that makes him Hootie. So he right? has he has a funny name and his band had a funny name. And that's uh-huh. what's different about him and Toad the Wet Sprocket. The band has a funny name, but the lead uh-huh. singer's name is Glenn Phillips. Thank you. Thank you for clearing that up for me. I yeah. was wondering what the difference was between yeah. Toad yeah. the Wet Sprocket and, and Hootie, Hootie and the Blowfish. Blowfish. Hootie and the Blowfish, yeah. funny name for lead singer. Toad the Wet yeah. Sprocket, normal name for the lead singer. Is that singer. a problem? Do you, if you're, you're going to have a funny name as a band, the lead singer has to have a funny name. I think it's only fair. Okay, you know, I think it's only fair. Uh, um, should we start a band, Greg? Yeah, but since okay. neither of us have funny names, the band should be called something like you know, the Box. Probably just something <laughs> like that. Something just ordinary. The box. the box or the chair. Cardboard. Just call the band Cardboard. Cart Cardboard. Yeah. Both the box and cardboard are both okay band names to me. Yeah. They're okay. Yeah. Yeah. But here's so. here's the here's the deal with cardboard. You don't do it as one word, it's two words. Cardboard. Okay. And cardboard. you spell board B O R E D. Yeah. Hi, I'm Greg Benson, lead singer of Cardboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually, you, it, you know, when you say it out loud, I'm like, this actually sounds like a good band, and I want to, I'd want to check this band out. You'd want to hear, you want to hear the song, right? I think that you and I actually should start a band because that's one of those things that, like, you've known, you and I have known each other for years, and we have never started a band together. Have you noticed that? Yeah, it's odd that we haven't started a band. And it's we've so known weird each other for years. Yeah, yeah. And, and and I and I have other friends that I've known for just as long, sometimes even longer, and we yeah. haven't started a band together either. Oh, you know, and I so, would say most people I know, I did not start a band with. Them. Yeah, and I've been yeah. wondering, like, yeah. what's the deal with that? Like, we're not starting yeah. bands with the people we know. Yeah, what's the problem? You know, I mean, other, you know, if you if you look at other bands, they started bands. Now, but I bet they didn't start bands with most of the people they know. Well, but you never know. They might have. You know, I mean, and there's most still time. Of the people, you know how many people people know? Some a people lot. Some people don't know that many people. Okay. But I bet people in bands know a lot of people. So. Man, is, is that a better name for this episode? People in bands know a lot of people? No, I Maybe. think we should go with the hoity-toity hoi polloi episode. Okay. That's better. Uh. I think either one is, it's not going to bring us much audience, so uh, it doesn't matter. You know, here, here's the deal. If there's one yeah. thing that you and I are not concerned about, it's having an audience find us. That's true. Yeah. That's true. 
really, we're doing this for two people. You yeah. and your wife. Yeah. It's just two just, the, yeah. Those are the yeah. two people that we do this for. I am a big fan of this of this podcast and my wife is a big fan. I'm sorry, you're what? And you Oh my god. <laughs> and you Yes. Don't listen at all. You know the funny thing is before we started my wife. The, There okay. it is. Yeah. Before we started recording this morning, I I texted Craig and I said I said, you know, I'm going to be like 5 minutes late or something because I'm going to go for a little walk in the neighborhood and the reason I wanted to go for a walk was so I could listen to part of an episode. And so I just went for like a 20 minute walk and listened to it just to remind myself of what we do on the show. Sometimes I forget. Oh, I, I absolutely forget because we have no structure whatsoever. It's a complete so, random hodgepodge of nonsense. So I listened to the, I listened to the episode, Christopher Nolan's tote bag extravaganza. Yeah, I have no idea what happens in that episode. I have we no idea talked, why it's called that. We talked a lot about penises, and I think we called uh-huh. it that because you couldn't call it the penis episode. But really, we talked a lot about penises. Okay. So if you All guys right. if you guys re- missed the Christopher Christopher Nolan's tote bag extravaganza, it came out December twenty fourth. Oh, of course, it's a Christmas present to everyone to hear oh, sure. Greg and Craig talk about penises. You can go yep. back and listen to that one, guys. That was not lot even of that long talk. ago. No, not even that long ago, and it I don't came remember. Came out a month ago. Right now, we're recording this on the thirtieth of January, you guys. Mm-hmm. Which means it will come out on Patreon tomorrow. Whoa! Yeah, that's exciting. They're released exciting. on Patreon on Wednesday, and then four days later, I believe, they come out for the world. So Patreon gets a sneak peek. They get to enjoy. It. They get to laugh four days sooner than everyone else. Yep. So basically, all the Patreon people are walking around just laughing, and all the normal people are like looking at the Patreon people are going like, "What's so funny?" And then the Patreon people are like, "You'll find out in four days, asshole." Yeah. 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 By the way, uh, our Patreon only costs three dollars, and I want to point out that some people join our Patreon, and then after a while, they leave the Patreon. Yeah, that happens. Yeah, I understand. Do they, do they not have three dollars anymore? What happened? To, I I think I think I feel like if you're going to join the Patreon, just make a commitment and join Greg, it for the rest of your life. No, no, no Greg. No, just that's let's all I'm let saying. People, just don't be. Just let people do what they do. No, no. Here, and here, here's here's what I want. If, here's what I want. I okay, want for people right. not only to commit to join it for the rest of their lives. I want you to estimate how many years you have left in the rest of your uh, life, to, yeah. and then multiply that by twelve. And then go uh-huh. ahead and just pay that amount times three dollars, and that uh-huh. way you lock in the price. If we raise the price to seventy five dollars a month, you still get the podcast for the three dollars yeah. that you've prepaid. But then you want them to still pay monthly after that. Yes, I want them to prepay. Okay. Plus, I want them to pay monthly at an inflated yeah. rate that only they pay. So it's. Why, I mean, I don't, now that I think about it, it's a really not a good deal. No, no, it's not a good deal at all. But it's uh, great for us because it's just extra money. It's, I mean, it's really not a good deal when you consider that we're just doing this for free anyway. So I don't I, uh, listen. We're not doing it for free. Yeah. We need to be transparent with our listeners. We oh. make seventy five dollars a month so far on Patreon, uh, uh, and that, well, after, yeah. that's before fees. After fees, probably mm-hmm. around sixty, sixty seven, sixty eight dollars a month. And then Craig okay. and I split that fifty fifty. That's half, yeah. guys. We split it exactly in half. Um, yeah. And so I don't know. You do the math. I don't know how much that is. I don't know how many thousands of dollars or whatever a month that is. Okay. You do the yeah. math. I'm not very good with math. Okay. Um, you want me to do the math right now? Yeah. Yeah. Let's just say it's sixty eight dollars. What's that divided by two? That's thirty four dollars. Thirty four thousand dollars. Just thirty four dollars. It doesn't become more when you divide it. It it it's less. And you're sure about that? One hundred percent sure. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, thirty-four dollars is not very much money. No, no. I mean, not at all. you could it, you could go to a cheap sushi place for one person for thirty-four dollars, and that might cover it if you don't get yeah. if you don't get too much sushi. You yeah. get maybe like three hand rolls and some edamame, mm-hmm. and then you add you know your tip. Hopefully, you have enough for to tip twenty percent. I feel like that's an, that's enough for for a meal if you're not going to get a drink. I think you're. I think you're doing okay. Well, what if you want some hot tea to go with that? You know, they're going to charge you like five yeah. bucks for the hot tea. You, well, know, you don't still. have to get. You don't have to get sake. You don't have to get a bottle of sake. True. I mean, some people go to a sushi restaurant. They order a bottle of sake that costs more than thirty four dollars. Like, boy, That's their pa- their Patreon must be blowing up. Yeah, not everyone gets 
Patreon money. People have well, jobs. Well, then how do they afford know? sushi if they don't get Patreon money? You're not making jobs. any sense. Jobs. Gobs. No, Gobs no, 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 of no. what? Like, what are you like, talking about? When you go when you go to a sushi restaurant, yeah. think of the person who comes to serve you. Okay? Yes. Yeah. That person how do you think that person is making money? Probably from their Patreon. You know? Doing they what? probably do a Doing they probably what? do a Patreon yeah. that's all about food service. And like, oh, hey guys, here you have exclusive access four days early uh, to my food service. Yeah. And then no. and people just people support them. So in so you in your world, everyone yeah. is a content creator and <laughs> Pretty supporting much. themselves. I mean, isn't that how Patreon. it is? Isn't that how it is? I hope not. I really hope not. Let me ask you something. I haven't been to yeah. a to a strip club in decades. Uh, you know, where, where uh, women take their clothing okay. off and they dance sure, around. Sure. I like where this is going. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh yeah. but do you think that all strippers now have their own only fans page uh maybe not all of them i, I don't mean, know they kind of should shouldn't they like if if their job is taking their clothes off in person why wouldn't they like oh while they're taking their clothes off they pull like a little business card out of their butt or wherever and then hand it to <laughs> hand it to well, I bet the, people I bet who are watching the, them not all the mm-hmm. owners of the strip clubs would probably be happy with that you know Oh, because they oh, because they wasting paper because business cards are sort of yeah, a thing yeah, of the past. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like they're like famously just, strip club owners are they love trees. They love trees. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. 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 Yeah, that's true. That's true. Strip club that's owners do good, love trees. That's another good title for good this. Good title. Thing. You're right. That's a, yeah. that, well yeah. let's save that for the next episode. Strip okay. club we'll owners love trees. Yeah, yeah, they do. Famously. Famously. Man. Well, I'm really. Well, how much time I got left? Because I really have to go to the bathroom. So shoot, um, uh, look, we're gonna do. We're gonna do. A, we're, this is a super long episode. We're gonna do two and a half more uh, hours. Great. Now wait a minute. Uh, well, you then. you texted me this morning that you said you were pooping. Did you? Were you lying? Or do you have more poop now? What? What makes you think I have to poop? Well, you said you had I'm, to go to the bathroom. What else are you gonna do in there? Well, you you also pee in the bathroom. Maybe you do. Okay. What do you do? And what do you think others do? I mean, bathrooms for pooping. That's the poop room. Okay, so where where's where do you pee then? Uh, I don't want to know. I don't. Know. Yeah, you're getting personal. You're getting personal. Yeah, yeah, here. yeah, yeah. I actually don't want to know. Hang so, on, just, uh, just a second. Uh, what's that? What's going on? <sighs> Sorry, I had to pee. <clears throat> All right. So, do you now wear I'm, a diaper? No, uh, drink more water. Okay. Do, do you wear I wear a diaper? Now you're getting personal again. <clears throat> I mean, I, I'm concerned. I'm, I'm Don't a you wonder concerned. if one of these days if we actually will wear Depends? Like, if we're just going to be one of those old men who are just like, well, I Wait, give up. Are we up. both going to be one of those old men? Yeah, you and I, t- we're going to fuse oh, yeah. together into one old man. <laughs> yeah, like like right. six years from now, you and I will so does fuse that mean together. I get, does that mean I get older? Like, I match your age all of a sudden? I don't or, know how it works. Or, I think or do you the, get I think, younger? I think that you just add my age to your age. And then oh. that we become one old man, what, with oh. whatever age that is, which means oh, that you you, very you, old. you you add us both together, we're already like a hundred. Yeah, that's you very, ever think of that? Very you're, old. You're, you're, we you're, probably will need depends. You're yeah. half of a hundred year old, is what you are. I think I would wear depends. Is whatever chance I get, just uh, then I don't have to go to the bathroom anymore. I just kind of go wherever. Yeah, I mean that's, that that does make it kind of easy. I mean, you think yeah. about it. Let's say that you're taking a nice drive mm. across the ocean or whatever, and you're just like, yeah. I don't want to f- pull off and pee into the ocean. A, dr- a drive and across gonna, the ocean? I know, this what? is the future. In the future, they can do okay. stuff. They can. They have cars that drive across the ocean. Just go with it. Okay. So, All right. yeah. so let's say you're in, it's, you're in the future, and you're dr- having a nice drive across the ocean because you're going mm-hmm. over to Mesopotamia and okay. for a nice little vacation. And No, mm. Mesopotamia is back in the future. Just, just would you go uh, with okay. it, please? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You're going to yeah. go visit Constantinople and... Uh-huh. And oh, pretty, so Istanbul is now Constantinople again? It, yeah, it came, it became it again. And in the future, okay. everything changes. Everything. Okay. It's very, it sounds like some things revert different. back yeah. to the past. Well, but, yeah, yeah, but okay. it's just because, you know, everything old is new again, as they say. Okay, all right. <clears throat> and uh, and you're like, I don't want to stop in the middle of the ocean and pee. Well, you, okay. you're wearing your Depends. That's all I'm saying. Right. Okay, it's, uh, it seems like that would not be a problem to just pee in the ocean, actually. Well, you don't want to... Here's the thing. You don't want to. Yeah. You don't want to get pee all over all the people who live in Atlantis, because in the future there's a lot of people who uh. live like probably directly below you in Atlantis. No, no, wait. So 
if I'm just somewhere random in the ocean, I'm above Atlantis? Is, that, Atlant is Atlantis Ad the Atlant entire ocean? Atlantis is huge in the, in the future. It, okay. it becomes a very popular place to live because above the, above the water, the air is pretty bad. And a lot of people okay. don't want to breathe that air, so they choose yeah. to live in the ocean in Atlantis. And by okay. the way, Atlantis, beautiful place. Well, it seems like it's huge. It's like everywhere. It's the whole it, ocean. It is huge. They've yeah. got terrific grocery stores. They have a lot of rocks. They've got okay. there's fish. Yeah, but there's fish. But it is it is underwater. So how do how do they uh, do anything? I don't, like I don't uh, understand how yeah. it's the future. All the technology is different. I don't really understand how things work. I don't understand okay. is what I meant to say. But you are you are you are saying that you you do seem to know an, a lot about the future. Yeah, that's uh, because in the future, when people are like, hey, let's go on a vacation. Where do you want to go? Oh, let's yeah. go to Pompeii, and we can drive yeah. right by Atlantis, yeah. stop sure. in Atlantis for a while, pick up some groceries, because they got such good uh, grocery stores. Okay. Take those I groceries mean, with us to Pompeii. Yeah. You know? Okay. That's all I'm saying, is that there's, okay. you know, in the future, you have many choices. There are options. And all, this, all the old uh, civilizations ha are coming back. They're I coming guess. back. Because everything yeah. old is new again. Uh huh. I don't know. Frankly, now, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Just a bunch of old, a bunch of old men driving around on the ocean in their hovercrafts. I mean, and, it does sound like a lot. I mean, of fun, actually. yeah, going on vacation in yeah. Pompeii. You know, yeah. I'm, pee, I'm just there. peeing, just as they're just driving around, just peeing. Oh, like that's the only sound that you hear on the ocean now. Oh. I mean that doesn't sound as good actually. I don't really. <laughs> Santa, Santa old uh, men just peeing on the ocean. I'm on not, their hovercrafts. I'm I'm losing interest a little bit. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's this is what the future is, you know? Okay. L love it or leave it, they say. Love it or leave it. Who who said they about the future they yeah, say that? That's what they say. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Listen, Greg, I have to go to the bathroom. So let's uh You want to wrap this up? Let's wrap it up. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to leave it up to you. Whenever you are ready to end the episode, you go ahead and wrap it up with that, the end of episode jargon that you like to say. Okay. And that's the end of this episode of Two Guys Talking, talking about, about Lettuce. My lettuce. name is Greg Benson, and I'm Craig I Benzine. Lettuce. Yeah, I don't even want to say anything. <laughs> this has been fun, lettuce. Craig. I hope you have a great pee. Did you drink Thank a lot of water this morning? Is that the problem? Apparently, I had I had coffee, lettuce. and uh, I guess I had a lot of Talk water. Yeah, well, coffee's yeah. made from beans Talk and water, lettuce. so that makes perfect Good. sense. Mm -hmm. And maybe sure. milk. Sometimes you put milk in it, you know? I didn't, though. I don't. Okay. All right. You're a black coffee drinker? I sure because am. Because you want to enjoy life less? Okay. <laughs> All right. No. Well. I like it. Uh, I want okay. to enjoy the flavor, the pure flavor of the coffee. Okay, well, look, the, the episode's over. I know you need to pee. Go ahead and say something yep. really important, and I'll stop recording. Well, listen, uh, I don't think you're going to stop recording. I think I'm going to talk, and you're going to, I'm going to try to 